let's add some components to help the deformation on the elbows and knees. I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna use the control zero one, drag and drop. And I have my control here. I'm just gonna move it a little bit back like this. I'm just gonna be there. And I'm just gonna call this elbow. Elbow, we can I mean elbow helper or something like that. Then on the joint, I'm just gonna ask that I want the joint. And the deformation, uh, sorry, the orientation for the moment, I'm just gonna use the wall orient. I'm just gonna keep it like oriented to the to the orientation of the uh, root. And okay, it's about good for the moment. So I'm just gonna put one here around the biceps and a bicep, sorry, and another around here. So that's it. Um, this later when we articulate, we will use the RVF manager to make some automatization of the movement. So it will create a nice deformation. And on top of that, we will add some uh, corrective lane shapes that will be the final touches. Okay, so maybe this one, just a little around there. Okay, let's say uh, around here is correct. And the same for the knees. So I'm just gonna come here and just add control zero one here. I'm just gonna call this knee helper. And well, it doesn't need to be oriented with the leg, it can be like that. I'm just going to add joint and remove the wall oriented. So it's going to be like this. And let's put one here and the other around here. And maybe this one, I'm just going to rotate a little bit. Okay. Just, I'm just gonna rotate all three at the same time, so get the same orientation. Okay, so that's about it. Now just um, double check everything on the same. Later we will edit also the joint configuration, like where is connected everything. But for the moment, just leave it like that. And that's it. These two uh, or six control zero one will help us to make a better deformation around that area.